we want to talk about mobility and moving around, we have all these new technologies, but we implant them in old forms of classrooms that still have the front and then the students, right? But if we really want to be discussing and moving around, then how do we make a structural change that deals with the mobility? I think we're really at um, pretty early days as to where all this technology is going to wind out to. Um, what, what the classroom or teaching environment will actually be. It's really odd because I used to be on the leading edge of all technologies. When the first computer software drawing programs came out, I was on it. I designed the world's first virtual reality helmet on it. And suddenly, 30 years later, I'm feeling like a techno dinosaur. I think, wow. And we're not all wandering around with little virtual reality helmets like we thought we would 30 years ago, right? So, what's the take home <laughs> How lesson? How would that be in teaching? Imagine using a virtual reality helmet in your teaching practice. Well, if it was actually implanted in my brain, then if someone asked me a question, the image that's in my head would actually come right out and onto their PowerPoint or onto their laptop. That's where I'd like to see things go. So we actually take away a lot of the mechanical steps that we actually still have. So it's not as seamless as we think it is. It's still tethered. Look, I'm still holding yeah. something here. Right? <laughs> right? So we're really sitting in between. It's, I think it's going to be really interesting to see how it becomes much freer physically.